Hi guys, I am going to share my Ikea haul with you. I wish I could hold the box up, but it's honestly far too big and I do not lift that much in the gym. So um, I'm going to try and just get it open over here. One hour later. Well, that was a workout I did not expect to do today. <laughs> I'm just going to pull up my order so I can give you guys prices. Part of me was like, I'll just add them on afterwards and I know I'm not going to do that. So let's just... Wow! <laughs> okay, this is the fifth time that I'm trying to film this and... So far, every single thing has gone wrong. So if this makes it to the internet, wow, miracle. Anyway, today, as you can tell by the title sort of this video, I am gonna be showing you guys what I got from Ikea. So as you know, we are slowly getting around to doing bits of the house. And it's really exciting because I've actually managed to bring in like some boxes that we've had in storage for over a year now. And stuff I've just not seen in the longest time. And then when it came to like doing up this office room, which I absolutely love, I've got my rainbow bookshelf in the background, my notebooks. Um, I just realised I actually do need a lot more storage for things like really important documents like all well, the car documents, our marriage certificate, like all those things need to be securely put somewhere. And I was looking on Amazon, I was gonna spend 14, 15 pounds on some file holders and I was like, you know what, no. Let me go check out Ikea. Unfortunately, here in Dundee, we do not have an Ikea. Moment of silence, please. Okay. But what we do have is the internet. I was always put off ordering from Ikea because I always thought that the only delivery they had was like from their own van, which was, I think it's around 40 pounds. But if you get like small enough items, they're not gonna charge you that ridiculous amount of money. So it came up to about four pounds, which is not bad at all. And actually, I guess if your items are really large and you don't fit in your car, and you live far, 40 pounds is not bad. But for small items, I was like, you know what, four pounds, it's fine. And the price of some of these things, you guys know, it's Ikea, it's just so good. So I'm just gonna start at random, really, and pull out like the first things that I see. So I got two of the Tegina storage boxes with lids, and they were £3.50 each, and then they are 25 by 35 by 20 centimeters, and they look like this. Actually, like it almost looks like there's a texture on there. Obviously, with it being Ikea, there is a lot of flat pack stuff in here. But this is the lid. These are the instructions to build the box. No, it's not textured. It just looks like it's actually just printed like that. But it's really nice. It definitely matches the room. I didn't go for brilliant white, but it's quite light as you can see behind me. And then the furniture, like my camera shelf, it's like more industrial. And I am going to be painting my desk black. So yeah, I thought like neutral stuff with a pop of green in the room would be perfect so this is the size of the box and i like how it's got like candles and a lid as well so i got two of those and three pound fifty is so good the next item is these file holders which is kind of the reason why i made this order and you get a pack of three pounds they're not like obviously plastic or anything robust they are made out of like a thick cardboard but i liked how you had some silver detailing there so behind me as you can see like i've got these shelves which are perfect for books and then these two down here there's one here and there's one at the bottom they are all for folders and bigger things like that so yeah again like i said all those like important documents that you need to have so properly three pounds was really really good oh exciting so i purchased a the scoob hanging shoe organizer and this was six pounds and it has 16 pockets in it so it comes with a hanger which is great and that just slots into the wardrobe and then you've got 16 pockets eight on each side i believe no hang on sorry the 16 and they're all on one side okay i don't know why i thought it was like double-sided but that makes sense because it's quite thin and if there were shoes on both sides, it probably would break. But you can actually fold it up so there's 12. And then if you need the extra storage, or your wardrobe's big enough, you've got another four there. Now I got this mostly for like my Asian shoes, my corsair, things like that. I've got quite a few of those from Pakistan this year. And um, I just felt like if they were in an organiser like this, I'd be much more likely to reach out for them and use them. And that's my biggest goal is like to stop buying and buying and buying. I know it's ironic saying that in a haul, but like at this stage, alhamdulillah, like I have so many clothes, so many English clothes, so many Asian clothes. And it's just like, I, I can't justify owning this much if I'm not using it. Like at least if everything's organised properly, you can see what you've got, really use it. And then, you know, if you're not using something, you can pass it on to a better home. Yeah, six pounds. I thought it was really, really good. You guys know I love being at B&M and Home Bargains. I've not seen anything that was that good in either of those two stores. Okay, I did not expect this item to be this large. Wow, okay, so I've got the Scrut desk pad. 
That is really big. <laughs> that is really big. But this is three pounds and it is like a faux, well, is it a faux leather or is it more of a plasticky black? I can't really tell. Yeah, basically. It says what it does on the tin, it sits on your desk and I think especially because I'm planning to paint my desk a black colour, probably it will end up getting a bit faded and, and that sort of thing afterwards and if you've got any tips for painting furniture black please let me know. But yeah, I just thought it'd be good to have this pad here just to protect the paint, protect the desk a little bit and yeah, I just thought it was a really good price as well. Like again, I've seen these things on Amazon for a lot more and it will just tie in with the kind of semi theme that I'm going for here and just be protective. I don't know why I have to explain anything like five times. I really don't. <laughs> Just tell us what you got and move on, girl. Move on. Oh, okay. I've got a fake plant. I was a bit nervous about this because, not gonna lie, I've seen so many fake plants recently. I've been looking for the perfect fake plant and they all look quite rubbish, but this is all right. It is looking very shiny, but remember, there is a bright light shining at it. So, actually, I think it's all right. It was designed to lean. I got this for my laundry area because I did try to get the real thing. I got it from B&Q and I tried to keep it alive and sadly the laundry area is just either like too dark or yeah it was just lacking something and unfortunately I found out when it was too late and the plant had died. So at least this will never die. <laughs> it will never die and I like how long it is guys. Like look at the length of those leaves. Beautiful. Now obviously it's not the most realistic looking fake plant. Like what I've seen is that online if you really want to get a fantastic fake looking plant you gotta pay like 20, 30, 40 pounds. I'm not gonna spend that on this. I mean this was only seven pounds and it comes with a little pot as well which I thought was really good. Really happy about. For now I'm just gonna pop it here. How nice does just a bit of greenery look and obviously I know ideally we'd all have green fingers and we'd all be really good at being plant mums but I have got a snake plant and I've got a monstera plant and that's about it. Those are the only two that I've managed to keep alive and yeah I'm just not gonna keep buying plants to kill them it's just not there. Not there. Oh wow, okay, again, something that's like a lot larger than I thought that it looked like from the pictures, but maybe that's just because it's flat pack. No, that is actually bigger than I expected. I'm gonna have to sit and like go through these detailed instructions after this video, but this is the Hyven storage box with the lid as well. So it's got like a folding lid. Essentially, it's like a fancy looking shoe box. And I thought it was really cute for cards because I love keeping cards. Honestly, they are my favorite thing. You know, if someone takes the effort out to write you a card and write you a lovely message. I'm not talking about the ones that are like to and from because sorry, but those can go after they've been displayed, they can go. <laughs> but like the more sentimental cards that have messages that you just want to keep forever. Yeah, I just love them. And I have so many cards and like so many different various boxes over the years I've collected that I just want to keep them all in one place and I thought that was a nice box to do it in and this like sort of sagey green color is what I'm gonna have at the top so you can't tell right now but like the top shelf we've got a really beautiful it was already here in the house like it was my in-laws before but they said I could have it and it was like a hand with like the crown puff open and quality on it which is lovely and then um, I've got like a set of three storage boxes from Lidl and I thought that would be a really nice addition as well. They don't all have to go on the same shelf but I don't know, sage is a very like calming, peaceful colour and that is the little vibe I like. Oh and that was £1.50 by the way, £1.50. I just, yeah, like wow, £1.50. Okay, yeah you get it but yeah, that's, that's a bargain. Guys this box is not a joke. <laughs> I saw this on the website and I thought it was quite cute. So this is a lib hanger with eight grips and it was 75p. And basically you can hang like your underwear from there. You can hang socks on to dry. Obviously if you've got little ones, their clothes will fit really nicely on there. Not necessary, but it was 75p and I thought it was quite a functional thing to have. Ooh, I was excited for these boxes. So I then got one box put in the middle of those gray white ones. And this was four pounds and it's a Tutori storage box with lid 25 by 35 by 20 centimeters and it's got the green leaf pattern which is very nice indeed happy with that I don't want too too much green which is why I've got two white ones to put either side that's gonna be really nice I just feel like getting organized just arms me so much but it takes me so much time like I'm not naturally a super organized person but I've decided that you know my late 20s and onwards I want to be organized and this area here like it's gonna be my office so for at the moment I'm studying one day inshallah hopefully I'll be working from home from here and then also it's got like my camera gear in it as well and also I want to kind of use it as a multifunctional like studio space as well 
So I don't want there to be like clutter and just bits of paper and everything everywhere. So yeah, all I'm still trying to say is that I feel really good, alhamdulillah, about getting organised. And hopefully, like if you're watching this, this inspires you as well. Like if you're someone who was like me or is like me and was trying to change. Yeah, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get organised in a nice way. But I am excited to show you guys in a vlog like the finished look behind me anyway carry on so a super boring but super essential purchase are extension leads these were six pounds they've got four waist sockets they haven't got usbs which is fine um but they're nice and long so yeah i needed one for our back room and another one for the office actually bought three pounds each was not bad at all so let's get on amazon those are expensive guys we have a squidgy thing and it's all wrapped up oh Light bulbs, yay! <laughs> um, I have got two light bulbs, 40 watts, they are E27 and I really, really hope they fit my lamp. I really, really hope they do, honestly. I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I've brought so many light bulbs and they're just, for no reason. Like I just go and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I need to like replace that light, I need to replace that light and then they just don't fit for some reason. I'm just wasting money on light bulbs out here in this economy, it's just not okay. But yeah, those were £2.50 for two, again. Hard to, hard to say no really isn't it? Oh my goodness, and the last thing. Oh, okay, so that one is way like longer than I thought and this one is way smaller than I thought. Oh my good, what? I, okay, what? I did not, this is this did not look that small online and I know there's probably measurements and obviously I clearly didn't check, but it's tiny, oh my <laughs> That's absolutely tiny. Okay, anyway, this is a Fetchka artificial potted plant with pot. It does say six centimetres. Clearly, I didn't see that. Anyway, this is one pound. So, right, I made a big deal about a one pound fake pot, which actually looks rather cute for a pound. <laughs> That's just really, 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 really cute. Not sure I'm going to put this, but again, just I think just greenery makes the place feel more cosy and homely. So, it always gets a big thumbs up from me. Right, that is the end of the haul. Glad I filmed that so I can get all this stuff put away, recycled, and then built, and then organized i hope you guys are well have you been to ikea recently and let me know if you have and what you've got or what you'd recommend i would love to go into the store at some point actually but to be honest my main focus has just been to like sort out all the stuff that i didn't have a house before and then only then i can really see like okay right this would be nice or we'd need this or this or that you know so yeah anyway thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next video bye